Okay. Yes. Hello, Nikos. Hi, Hi Adel. Hi, Vibes. Hi, Vibes. Hi, Hi Vibes. <laughs> you are from. Where are you calling from? From, from, uh, from the stars. The stars. <laughs> That's right. You are. Technically, you are. That is so funny. The stars and Greece. And yes. I am calling from the stars. And that's so beautiful. I'm not going to forget that one. And the Netherlands. And uh, we uh, came together tonight to talk about uh, abundance. And everything that comes around that with that. Everything that that involves, everything that that entails, because it's it's huge. It's really very big. Um, and manifesting, you know, that's the other one. Uh, manifesting. And um, I, we wanted to uh, get together. And I would like to ask you, firstly, what do you think is abundance? And what is it not? And but also just um, if you want abundance, I'm going to just ask you a question immediately. If you want abundance, isn't mastering manifesting, ha um, you know, be having the ability to manifest just as important as wanting? abundance so i am um, let me first uh, de uh, describe what i what i uh, uh, how i define abundance and then you need to do this question again because i i didn't catch up the 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 whole question the yeah, whole the second question fine. but yeah. let me first let me first define abundance so so for me abundance is the ability to be able to do what you need to do when you need to do it or when you want to do it. So it's it's the freedom to have access to all the things you need or you want at any given time uh, to to do the things you need to do. So if you need food, you need food. If you need uh, uh, money, you need money. If you need or you want for me, needing and wanting, they are a little bit a little bit the same. So um, and then, and then it, it, and then it goes beyond that. Then is then the, the the then then the abundance. The definition of abundance is a um, a quality, a divine quality that I see. Uh, I see it like uh, like a cascade, like a, a um, an over a, a rivers con continually flowing, uh, like the energy, like the love that's flowing through us. It's the same thing for abundance, and for me, abundance is the ability to to have a constant access to this ability to create. So this goes to manifestation then. So it's the ability to have almost instant manifestation of all things we want or need. Hmm. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. And um, and that brings me to what I asked you just now, was if uh, if you want abundance, isn't mastering manifesting just as important? And you just answered that, and the answer yes. is like, yeah, yes. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Because um, for me. The whole reason, I think, and what I've heard, uh, what I know you agree upon, is the reason that the soul comes here to Earth is to experience, you know, love and joy and to play with the universe and to be able to manipulate energy. Yes. And to uh manifest to use the you know the pop culture words to manifest abundance 
Right. So that's yeah. that's or I know for you and I, it is uh, every single day uh, what we wake up with. What are we going to manifest? And so do you have a few activities that you do daily on a daily basis? Because I know you have rituals and you know I have. We really, you know, we love um, just you yes. know, getting to, into uh, rituals. I do. It is the most uh, my most favorite game right now that I'm playing with myself. Yeah, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for example, uh, um, okay, this is the basic foundation of everything. In the morning, uh, when I wake up, it's pretty much early, like four o'clock in the morning, and then I start. I go into meditation right away because it's very important for me to go to go into the the energy of the whole creation to be one with it to align with this energy so this is the first thing to align with energy and then mm -hmm. and then after a specific time that i'm satisfied staying in that field of energy um, doing also some work for the planet sending out the love for the planet for the highest good for all then i got a lot of energy coming back to me it's yeah. like because i always uh, everything i do for myself i'm also working for for everybody on the planet. That's a, what I see for myself. I see also every woman and man and child also for them. However, they see abundance in their own terms. It doesn't matter. I just do it also for everybody else on the planet. So for me, then it's like the universe is I already received confirmation from the universe. And there are there are like there is a feeling that is in me and there yes. are thoughts coming. There are yeah. thoughts coming. Yeah. So what I do. I just to follow this train of positive thinking, like the positive thoughts that come, it's like a domino effect. So I'm like starting to follow this uh, this yeah. thought. Maybe the thoughts tell me go. And to for everybody that doesn't know you, you have been doing this for, I think, more than two decades. Almost. You have been doing this meditation. Not exactly the same way. It went there gradually, but I mean now it's like. The, exactly like I say to you right now, this is the result of the last five years, I should say. This is becoming more precise now, more fine-tuning. This is more fine-tuning what's taking place. Um, it, yes. it, wasn't this, it wasn't like this 20 mm -hmm. years. It took some time before no. I get this discipline. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And also the energy was different. Uh, 20 years ago, 12 years ago, and uh, there's just what's been happening the past months and weeks and hours. It's just amazing. Yes. It's, uh, you know, the possibilities that we have now to be more multidimensional, and it's just, oh. it's just mind-blowing and so exciting. And uh, it's so beautiful because I know you and I speak about this. When we come into a room, it's like, sh -sh 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 -sh, but you know, a few, a few things change. You change your vicinity. You know, it, you you just get people that are. Uh, of course, there's a lot of people that I still speak to that um, seem like they are, you know, in a hologram and it's very hollow and you speak to them and it, it just goes in the one ear and goes out the other ear it's like they don't register um, and those are all timelines that are still you know running but they are like dead ends and and they're becoming less and less fewer and fewer in my yes. life and i've been noticing that um uh when I decide to do something, it also, things fall into place to, uh, to get there or to achieve that. Um, but also just going shopping is also interest, very interesting experience, you know, people just, uh, yeah, it's, um, 
I think the light body is very, very high at the moment. Um, it's really beaming. Um, it's really amazing. And uh, we know a few people like this. Uh, you are one uh, of the few. And yeah. I have to say, my friends, all of my friends are living in a 5D. It's just... We're, you know, really experiencing awesome stuff, and it's just wonderful to speak about this. Yes, yeah. I agree. So, um, but can you speak a little bit more about this expanding and contracting and expanding and contracting sometimes that you have? You know, being still saying goodbye to old because it has been. Don't get me wrong; it's been very difficult to get here. Yeah. So how do you that how do you let go? How do you expand and let more light uh, come in on a practical level? Just now we're going to do an activation, but I'm now asking about the logistics, the practical stuff. Yeah. So. So, like I said, uh, first is whatever I do for myself, I do for everybody else on the planet. This is a very powerful thing to do. And then uh, when I want to release stuff from, uh, from uh, um, the past, for myself and for the planet, for the collective, the use of the violet flame, this is, this is the, the number one tool you can use for the age of Aquarius. So using the violet flame and calling upon the archangels of the Violet Flame and Saint Germain and and all the Ascended Masters working on with the Violet Flame. So this is very powerful and uh, everybody should be using this because it's there available for us to use. And then there is also another thing I'm using that it has to do with, um, you know, I always say that uh, no matter where, they, where others stand in their journey, um, uh, uh, they might not be in a five-dimensional uh, awareness yet, and yet we know that all of them are angels, all of them are divine, all of them are love and light. So for me, it is a, a, a constant practice to, to see everybody around me, uh, how I would like them to see instead of seeing them as they are. So for example, if I go down to the city and I see the people uh, not being in this awareness, I, while I walk in the city and I see them acting in, in any ways they may act, in my mind's eye, I see another world. Like I live on the planet, but I'm not of it. And, and what's happening is the more I imagine it in my head, how I want them to be, the more I attract this to myself. I attract more of these people around me because that's a practice to do. So we have all the reasons to come here to, so 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 to say, com um, complain. But we didn't come on the planet to be surrounded by, by lovable ones. We came here to love. So That's when you understand. Right. That's right. So when you understand this and we shift how we see them in our mind's eye, our imagination, then then we attract more of this in our personal life. And then, of course, with the time, they also shift, but we need to give them time for this. So to come in this awareness, it took me a long time before I get here to really have like a, a integration of this awareness inside of me, like a, like a, a feeling inside that I know I'm doing right, the right thing. And that has to do with abundance. Because right. the, moment, yes. the, moment, the moment I start to see anybody else around me or, or calling them names, how they act or anything, this is the moment that, that I block the abundance within me. This is the, the wheel of love, the, the connection, the portal of love or abundance. It stopped the moment I, I speak yeah. of someone else. Being in, in the any, now moment, yeah. In any way they are, they may be, because the reality is that they are divine. That's the reality. That's the truth. Everything else that we speak with the words is just three-dimensional three-dimensional, uh, let's say, uh, awareness, but we are multidimensional. So when you say that everybody is divine, this is the truth. This, there is, there's no, not what we speak about what you see around us, but what we really are as light beings. 
So the more I catch myself doing this exercise with myself, the more and more I track this, and the more I witness incredible magnetizing, incredible things in my reality because because I don't block in my my energy anymore in that way. Yeah, that's beautiful. And um, I always think um, back to Ibiza when we were doing retreats together, and that was before. Uh, the lockdown and we um, are going to start when um, uh, it's possible to do so again and uh, it will be amazing to do that in uh, Ibiza um, yeah and or Greece that will also be uh, or Amsterdam will uh, fill into where we can do that yeah? we have multiple options yes yeah um, and because I love the, the dancing with you to, you know, to get into, you know, dancing and getting into this feeling of joy and bliss, you know, and magic and to really hold that, you know, yeah. and it's uh, a lot um, just it, the beginning might feel like, oh, you know, I don't feel like doing this. But the more you do uh, move the more you start feeling okay and the more you start to blossom and bloom, you know. So it does work, it does work. And for everybody, it's different. Uh, just as everybody is a little bit of a piece of the puzzle in this beautiful universe, um, I think that for everybody, ascension it also looks different. And uh, for everybody, it can have something different for them. So this is our approach. Um, I have to say, but um, we do very much agree on how it happens and how it feels and, you know, uh, universal laws. And that's so beautiful that um, we, we agree on the most beautiful uh, part of being alive. And that is, you know, that love uh, conquers all. And basically, this works because, uh, from what I hear, uh, I have shared with you this way of dancing and writing a journal of gratitude, mm -hmm. and then and then dancing. And from what I hear, you've been practicing, so it means that you realize that it works. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I uh, I also feel it deep within, very deep within my cells you know and i command this and i open holy space like you know i do and i i imagine my next steps in my life and so for me it's become like very tangible these universal laws because i'm doing them i'm practicing them in my own life and you know they work um, so these, uh, yeah, there's a lot more to say, but I think if we want to keep it, um, with, uh, you know, these, um, with abundance and manifesting, um, I think it's important for us to also speak about, uh, about the topic of being more, you know, the higher your vibration become, and the more light you can hold, the more you can shift, and the more you can shift your programs, uh, the quicker you can shift them and release them and uh, expand the heart and the mind to, you know, to bring forth your, your dream and, you know, that what you find so important and that, that, that really ignites your soul that becomes your uh, reality um, instead of the programmed reality we are you know living out at the moment if yeah. or a lot of people are living out at the moment which is very sad to watch um, and it's also beautiful to see how many people are waking up at the moment um, because of it because of what's happening. <clears throat> totally. Yeah. And um, uh, 
now you speak about uh, um, this. Uh, uh, you speak about uh, the present, and then I, I right away think. Uh, I, I remember I told you this uh, uh, e uh, event that happened a few, uh, like a few weeks ago. That I was speaking with uh, uh, a family member, and then uh, I realized that actually, I by being a higher vibrational energy uh, in in the now. I, I uh, managed to delete past memories completely in a way that these versions of the uh, uh, family member that I see next to me, they, are, they don't remember any of that. And it, it is crazy, but what's happening in my reality, basically right now, I'm in a field of energy that, that the, the past doesn't exist anymore. It's just yeah. the present moment, and and uh, and then it's just living the present moment, and then and then whatever happened in the past, it's gone. It's like didn't exist, and even 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 I I I find that I'm rewriting the past, the past story. So so it means that we have the ability to rewrite our story and tell the story we how do. we want it to be, how That's we want it to be. And start saying the story of a lifetime instead of trying to to repeat the story of the past, and that's how we shift everything. So it's like, wow. Stop. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? And um, it's very interesting. It's very interesting what's happening at the moment, um, and I can relate with you it's because we are very aware of this happening and most people are living uh, an in not authentic uh, and conscious in the now moment because what you're describing is being conscious in the now moment in this moment being multi-dimensional in this moment and choosing being presented with a lot of options and then choosing the best version and the best option and now this conversation is the most important in the now moment. Um, but it's a realization of that you control and you vibrate through your thoughts, your reality. Yes, absolutely. And that's very plainly said, but a lot is happening there. There's this balance um, on all levels. And it's really being, um, it's really going into being quantum and activating the crystals within the body. Uh, drinking lots of water, <laughs> drinking lots of water, yeah, absolutely. And um, keeping your vibes as high as possible. And um, I think uh, our conversations are going to be very interesting and just uh, we would, we're going to love sharing our lives because every week something else happens, like every day actually. And it was like with me with that bench in the park, it's like this bench wasn't here before. And then I was thinking, yeah, absolutely, because I'm living my best version and I want to sit down now <laughs> and there's this bench. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Um, it's it's funny, and it's good to have humor. It's good to have, you know, to stay positive. Um, because uh, yeah, sometimes it can be, you know, there are moments of, you know, uh, very difficulty, and it's because of our uh, capability of you know being so diverse and being able to go so low in your vibration and being able to reignite and rediscover that you are one with source is just absolutely magical and you know we are living in a reality where uh, it's exactly that what we have discovered is trying to be withheld or suppressed or, you know, it's the other way around. And we have actually been living in an upside down uh, reality 
and we've been taught the wrong way at, at school. But if you really start to live by the, you know, the universal laws, um, then you start to really see some beautiful magic in your life. And that's what we are talking about now. Yes, and it's um, um, not, um, it's very difficult to share really the magic, even if we try here with words, because uh, this is what you do actually, this is why you do that, because you want to share as much as possible from our experience, so everybody here can be inspired to do try this for themselves, because they will discover the magic for themselves, and because, for example, when you give this practice for dan with dancing, for example, and gratitude, when you really do it, and you, dis you discover the powerful <coughs> magnetism you have, the magnetism cannot be described with words, it just, mm -hmm happens because you become a magnet of all the things you want and you start to see them. Tangible manifestation taking place almost instantly. You just have to... That doesn't lie, right? Doesn't lie. No, because yeah. the feeling, the feeling is the magnet. The feeling is a magnet, yeah. not all th the thoughts also. But the way you feel in a given moment is the confirmation that we are on the right path. So this is very, very advanced. Yeah. Yeah, advanced uh, magnetic power that once you become really uh, aware and you focus on this, only on that, and everything else starts to fall in, in, right into its place. Yeah, or so not, it's... or not. And that last yes. is, is also very important because you, you immediately, oh no, that's not going to work. And you try to do something, oh no, that's not going to work. And, but, but it's good because now you have much more peace because you know that everything that's easy and that's flowing that then you're aligned with your inner um, vibration. So it's it's really, it, uh, the universe is really showing us directly, very much more directly than five years before, two years before, and even one month ago. It's really, um, I'm, um, it's, it's not just you and I, I think there's a lot of people that have been uh, realizing that the past week after uh, during retrograde there has been so much released so much on a quantum level for everybody there was a lot of uh, crystal activations by such beautiful healers all over the world and um, there's a new possibility of higher energies and it's amazing, and it's and we're tapping into that, and we're using that, and um, I think it's very beautiful to talk about this because um, the dreams that you and I have for the highest good for every man, woman, and child, and for Mother Earth is shining brighter and unconditional love and peace. And you know the truth and balance, uh, which we desperately need at this time, I believe. Um, so let's activate for anybody that one that's listening. Let's do that. This. Anybody that's listening to this, er, you're in the successful parallel you're in alignment just so you know so keep on watching <laughs> yes yeah keep, keep watching and keep listening your feeling within as, as well <sighs> so i activate the next awesome reality to come forth in my now moment. So let's close our eyes and let's just become really comfortable in our chair. And just welcome in this moment. This is a quantum light activation. And just taking in a breath, a deep breath through your nose in one, two, three, 
four, five. And hold it there and then really release. And feel yourself sink into your beautiful, comfortable space. I activate the light within me. I elevate my overall vibrational frequency. I release all that took up space in me that no longer need my reality. I don't need all of these lower vibrational frequencies going on in my life anymore. Just really releasing, taking a deep breath in and one more deep sigh. I hold my highest vibrational frequency for me. I allow density to leave. I tell my cells to activate and reshape and to expand so that I can transmit the new from within. I activate the light and transmitter of crystals inside me. I charge all my cells in my body. And I ask them to take the highest amount of light and love that my bodies can handle right now. And charge and charge and charge. Take a breath and really take this in. And activating these crystals within your DNA. The more light you carry, the more light you can hold, the more quantum you become. I'm just breathing in and out again. I release any lower energies in my thoughts that are still running. Even in my subconscious mind, things that I don't know of, the things that I am aware of, I now flood my thoughts with unconditional love and I replace my negative thoughts with more love and not less. My thoughts now transmit my highest potential and I communicate to all of the cells in my body. This is becoming so natural to me. I walk in multiple dimensions and I choose consciously to create my best outcome in every day, in every moment, in every now. Just opening up for the highest potential right now. Open. My thoughts and my cells communicate with each other and I activate abundance within me. I release all thoughts not serving me in the now moment. I let go now and I focus on the thoughts that serve me and everyone involved in my heart my life in and around me.
my entire consciousness is continually raising and I am releasing all programs continuously. The more light I hold, the easier it becomes to change programs. Breathing into the heart, assimilate and release. I'm now opening the crown chakras with everybody listening, opening up the heart space wide open to receive light, liquid light, white light. And I can feel the presence of the feminine, of the mother, and just showering us with this unconditional love. My heart and mind unify. I command realities. I call forth open realities to the highest good of all humanity, Mother Earth, and my ascension process. I open realities of unconditional love of peace, of fun, easy flow, honor, integrity, unity consciousness. I now transmit these frequencies from my heart and my mind. I radiate gratitude in every now moment. And I charge and I activate just being with these energies right now. And I activate everyone that's listening to this. And I activate. For their highest good. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> And just breathing into Mother Earth. Just anchoring in those energies. Mm. And so it is and so be it. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. So it is and so be it. And it is done. There you go. Smile, it's done. <laughs> it's already it, done. It's already done. It is done. Yeah. So let's say goodbye and we send everybody uh, so much love and um, yeah, I, I think um, it'll be nice to speak soon. Absolutely, much love to everyone. You are very much loved from us Thank and from, uh, up, from up the stars and Yay. from uh, light beings. <laughs> Where are you, you from? From the stars! <laughs> <laughs>
That's exactly. the right Much answer. Love. Much love. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.